G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today's video has been inspired by a lady who put up her fairy flower on my Facebook page, Pouring Your Heart Out. And her name is Dagmar. Hi Dagmar. Uh, I'm not sure if she did a video. I don't know if she does videos. I must check. Let me know, Dagmar, if you did a video. It was gorgeous. Now, um, I don't know exactly what colors she used, but I think she had like an orange and a yellow and a, and a black. I don't want really bright colors, so I'm not using the really bright orange and yellow. I've gone for more like a toned down orange and yellow, okay? These are the Holbein acrylic inks, and I've got... I'm calling it ISO. ISO yellow, yellow ochre, and black. All right. So, and I'm going to pour a little bit differently today as well because I want to kind of get rings, not spirals, but kind of rings. You've probably seen me do, I think it was a grey one, and I put blue in the center. Do you remember that one? So kind of along those lines. All right. So this is my orange, and as you can see, it's still really transparent. I'm going to do puddle pours. I'm just going to do puddle pours, all right? I'm going to see what happens. Pour that one in. It's not very dark. As I said, I don't want really bright colours. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that they'll blend a little bit. And then my yellow is going on top of that one. In it goes. Oh, gosh, they're very similar, aren't they? Oh, gosh. Never mind. They didn't look so similar in the cups, but now that they're mixed together, they look similar. All right, and then my little bit of black. So I've got the most amount of the orange, middle of the um, the yellow, and then the smallest amount of black. And they're all going to move into the middle anyway, so I don't think, hopefully we're not just going to have a huge big black center. Hopefully it'll kind of move a little bit. So, oh! I don't know. That's what I'm hoping. But yeah, like I said, I, I don't know. It's one of those experimenting days. Husband's at golf. I've got the place to myself. It's nice and quiet, except for the dogs that are barking. My dogs. I've got a couple of girls on heat, so it's it's a bit bit manic in here now. My white is my bloom. It's quite quite opaque. I would call that opaque. And. This one is also my bloom, but it's more transparent. Now, a lot of you have said that you want to see bigger dots. So I'm going to go with bigger dots, and the only way I can do bigger dots, if I use my piping bag and just make a bigger hole, it's just the resin's just going to run straight out. So I thought I'll cut quite a big hole in my pipette there, squeeze it, dip it in, let the resin run up. So I'm hoping because it's a pipette like this, I can basically put bigger drops in so when I'm squeezing. See, I'm doing a bigger drop. But if I had to try and do a, a drop that big <laughs> with a piping bag, yeah, it just would not work. Oops. All right, so push that back in. Let it suck some more up. Move on to the next one. So this is, this is my attempt at making bigger drops because you guys have asked for it. You want to see bigger drops. Now the pipette holds about three mil, so because I'm doing such big drops, it's not going to really hold. I can't do that many. I just have to swap over. That's why I've got two. So one as one's drawing up, I'm automatically making them smaller. <laughs> as one's drawing up, I'm doing the next one. And you can see as it gets empty, I'm getting a bubble in there. So you can't really do too many. But I am squeezing with my thumb and forefinger to get that resin to come down. And then when I start getting a bubble, then I know it's time to swap over. So we'll see what this does, hey? I don't know. Because I've been getting lots of like really fine little petals in my fairy flowers. And uh, yeah, so a lot of you said, make bigger dots. I don't know whether you guys actually do the fairy flower? Have you tried it with big dots? I don't know. Or whether you're just giving me ideas. I don't know. Because a lot of people comment and say, oh, you should have done this and you should have done that. And I'm thinking, well, do you do fairy flowers? Like, 
have you tried it or are you just you know trying to get me to try it so i don't know i'd like to know like if you put a comment up whether you've actually tried it or whether you're just saying do bigger dots or you should have done this or you should have done that and because you know you do get a lot of those comments and I'm, I'm just wondering whether or not people are telling me these things from experience like they've done it and it works um or whether they just want to put a comment up I, I don't know i'd like to know i would like to know all right so here we go continuing them on Oops, and you're all done. As soon as you see that little bubble coming at the end, you know that it's empty and you need to go to that next one. So I probably put, oh, it's hard to, hard to explain where to cut it, the pipette. I should have cut it in front of you, but I thought, oh, if I cut it in front of you, it's going to like fall into my resin. So here we go again. We're going to put another, another row along the back. It's kind of between these. Here we go. I'm hoping you can actually see the difference in color. Like, it looks very dark in the middle. I'm just going to get a big black blob, aren't I? Oh. I should have maybe not put so much resin for my black resin used 15 grams of resin I thought oh that's that'll be that'll be all right but maybe I should have just cut it back down to 10. Depends if it moves like how much it moves. All right that's it that is it that's all I'm doing I've got quite a bit of white left still but I'm doing what you guys have suggested and now we're going to pour this in very see-through. I can see through everything, <laughs> what's going on in there. I didn't make my colours as dark as I normally do because I don't want definite rings, you know, of colour. I want them blending, but oh, look, I don't know if it will or not. I guess me doing this now, that black's all going to race out and then come back in again. So, I've, oh, look, it may just be a big mess. Pour it in fast. It may just be a big mess. Now, I am using my large, chunky, live-edge mould which I will link down below. And as usual, I will also link um, resincourses.com, their, their website down below as well. If you want to take the fairy flower course or the dragon flower course or maybe the Larimar course, uh, you can take one of those courses. I'm going to snip that off. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll link it down below for you as well. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work, you guys. It looks as if it's going to have a lot of black in there. The black's pushed right out. Hopefully it'll get sucked back in again. I'm just filling in my little, my little crystal edges here. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for the moment. Um, this side looks a little bit higher than that side. I'll just do that. All right. <laughs> it's not. It's not moving very much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. This might just be a whole big waste of time. All right. I'm put some gold in the middle, and I'm just going to do some glass because it's nice and heavy and I don't want it to move too much. Like so. A little bit more. I think that should be it. I like using the glass because I know it's not going to, you know, move away too much, blow away. Poke that down a bit. Oh, it is starting to close over now, you guys. Look, it is. Yay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But um, look at the black. It's gone right out to the edges. So I'm hoping for 
a beautiful blend of yellow and orange and some grey. It's like my granny flat downstairs. It's like mustards and greys. So maybe like that. We get like a mustardy grey type of effect. I don't know. <laughs> we just don't know, do we? All right, that's it. Um, I'll clean up my mess and uh, I'll see you for the grand unmolding. Hopefully it will close. Yeah, I really don't know about this one, you guys. <laughs> it may not even make it to YouTube. Oh, wish me luck. See you soon. Okay, so it has been a couple of days. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting it to work, so I thought, oh, I'll just leave it. I don't even want to know in case it doesn't work. Um, but I thought, oh, all right, today is the day. So we'll get it out and see if it's worked. I'm really not holding out much hope for it. But, uh, oops, a little bit of overflow there. Hopefully it will work. All right. It's kind of a little bit puffy in the center there. It looks, I can see a lot of white on this side. <laughs> so I'm hoping there's a bit of gray in there somewhere. But um, yeah, just just don't know. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. Wow. Don't really like the puffiness in the middle, but this, I'm loving the edges. Look at the edges. Wow. Well, I do have some grey in the middle, <laughs> which is something, but not quite what I was after. Um, I don't know why I've got a big puffy center. Okay, we're going to have to put a sticker over that, aren't we? Because we can't leave it like that. That is for sure. All right, let me go and have a look at my stickers. So these are the ones I've got. They are just foils. I don't, don't think they're actually stickers. I think the yellow ones are going to go better, actually. These are more like a reddish tone. I'll have a look at these ones. I'm not sure if they're actually stickers. I've never never really tried to peel anything off the other side of them. Let's get them all out. If you can get them on um, Amazon. All right, let's have a little look. There's two of each, like, design. I don't know if I want to... No, I'm going to have to go with the bigger one, the next size up. See, there's that little one, and then there's... Oh, you probably can't see them all that well. There's that size. And then there's the bigger one, that size. So I think I'll have to go with the bigger size. Yep, that's looking better already. It's still not a... Oh, look, actually, there's, there's a bigger one. Move out of the way. <laughs> there's a bigger one. Look at that. I didn't realise there was such a big one. Um... So yeah, there's a few different sizes, different designs. This one looks like a traditional firework. I'll just put a, put these bigger ones in. Mm, I think that's the same as that one. Yep. What else is the big one? Oh, there's, there's another big one. That's got lots of little bits on it. Actually, it's got some white in the middle, so that looks quite nice. So there's two of those I think that's all must only be must only be three in that big size yeah only three so there's that one there's that one I don't really like that one. Discount that one. And that one. And of course, if you if you don't want to use one of these, you can just put some um I wouldn't use stones because they're too big, but you could do a top coat and put some gold glitter in or whatever color glitter you wanted in there really. So there's that one and there's that one. I think I prefer that one actually. 
I think. That one gives a bit more coverage. I think I like that one. Only because it's got the bit of, um, it's got like white in the center, which is picking up the white here. So I, I do like that one. So um, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like extra, extra plastic around the edges. And I always like to trim that off. I don't like to have that extra plastic on there. So I just prefer just to trim it because you can see the edge of it and I don't like that. So we'll just trim. Oops, I don't want to cut any of the gold little fireworks off. If you don't want to have like the goldy side, you can use the other side. I'll show you the other side in a, in a tick as soon as I've done this. Just in case you don't want that gold side showing. I haven't cut it very straight. It doesn't matter. Um, there's my little bit. There's a little bit that I cut off. So there's that side which is more shimmery. And then the other side isn't very shimmery it's it's just more kind of white like that but if you preferred it that way you could but i do like that little bit of gold there so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get my spray glue and i'm going to spray the back and i'm going to stick it down um, and then it's easy for me to do a top coat without it flying around and and moving and spreading so i will do that real quick I just use this spray glue, quick grip. Make sure you put down a piece of paper towel first, turn it over so that you're spraying on the right side. Give it a quick little spray, it doesn't need very much. And then put it where you want it, like so. And because it's you know now wet on the back, it looks really transparent. I hope I've got it in the center because I can't really move it now. Oh, I can move it just a tiny bit. But um, I think that's, you can move it a touch, you know, if you haven't got it quite in the center when you're looking at it. And then um, it's ready for top coating and, and your little foil won't move. I wonder if they are stickers. I really don't think they are. Oh, you guys, it is. It's a sticker. Well, what do you know? <laughs> I didn't know it was a sticker. I just thought it was a foil. <laughs> I'm a dill sometimes. I could probably peel this off now. I wonder if I could peel that off. <laughs> oh, is it too late for me to peel the glue off? Oh gosh. <laughs> we learn the hard way. We learn the hard way, you guys. All right, here we go. I'm going to put this back on now. Oh dear, oh dear. I worry myself sometimes. Now it's that in the middle again. I'm not going to be so easy to move now. Okay, well, we've learned something, you guys. <laughs> we've learned something. Oh. That looks much better. It hasn't got such a stark edge around it now. <laughs> I've taken the backing off. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll just see if I can peel it off. And I've been saying to you all along it's just a foil, but it's a sticker. <laughs> uh, all right. <sighs> Enough excitement for the day. All right, let's go and have a little look at this. I'm not exactly sure... I was going to say, I'm not exactly sure how I could um, hide that puffiness in the middle, but look, it's not too bad. It's There's a bit of grey in there. If it was just a big white blob, it would bother me, but it's it's kind of just like, you know, it's a bit of grey. It matches in with the rest of the grey. I don't think it's too bad. What do you think? Is it all right? Look at that. Look at the feathering that we're getting in there. 
Just look at that. Isn't resin amazing? Not sure why I got the big puffy center. Oh, look at the gold sparkle. So there you go. Um, and if you wanted to add a bit more gold, you could add some gold to the, your, your outer edge there. But um, I, th I think it's enough. I don't think it needs to have anything else on it. It's got a lot of yellow and orange and, and that in it. I don't think it needs any more gold on it. So I'll just have a little look here. Love it. Considering when I unmolded it, I thought, oh, that's terrible. You're terrible, Muriel. I actually quite like it. All right. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. See what you can do with some orange and yellow and, and black. It's a bit of a tricky combination. I felt for sure that when I put yellow and black together, I was going to get that baby poo greeny color, which, you know, is traditionally what you get from yellow and and black together but it evaded me this time which was quite nice so there you go all right oh well i'm glad i finally unmolded it <laughs> thanks for watching i'll see you all again real soon for the next video take care guys bye for now